Today we'll be doing a simple nail, pretty simple. Um, I'm setting up all the things you'll need. It's just a few things. And see, you can use silver or black. I prefer to use silver because I like shiny colors, and it's pretty shiny. So this is your base coat right here. Then your actual color you'll be using. This is for your stripes, and this is the top coat. And that's all you'll need. This is Kiss Nail Art Paint Silver. This is Revlon Pure Pearl. This is LA Girl Metal. And this is Sally Hansen Super Shine Shiny Top Coat. Alright, let's get started. So I will be doing my base coat first. Let that dry for a little bit. That's what it should look like now. It goes from this to this. Let it dry for a little bit. I only use one coat of that. Then I will use my LA Girl Melic Metal Metallic Nail Polish. Um, this color is iron red, in case you were wondering. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Let that dry for a little bit. That's what it is. This is the last nail I did. Um, if you want, you can check it out. It's pretty neat. I I like it. I just need to finish okay. So I need to. Wait a little bit longer for this one to dry, and meanwhile, you can start on all of your other base coats for all your nails. So you can, while it's drying, you can, sorry, I have to do this with my hand, I don't know why. You can start putting on the rest of the nail polish, okay? Alright. I think it's dry enough. I'm just taking a couple more blows at it. Now I'm going to use my Kiss Nail Art Silver. That's what it looks like. In case you were wondering. Okay. 
I personally like this design because I like shine and craziness. So. I like to go all the way out to the very ends of my nails. Just my personal liking. You don't have to do as many lines as I did, but I like that, so I'm gonna do it like that. Yeah, yeah. That's what your end product should look like. Let me just let that dry a little bit, and then that's if you're looking at it, and if Someone else is looking at it, it looks like that. So, let me just see. So, blow in it a little bit. Now, let's put the top coat on. Let it dry just a little bit. So, you can put your top coat on. And your end product is, end product is this. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like to design it and you try. Alright.